Well, I feel like that, uh, you know, we, we have survived. You know, we've survived for earthquake, we've survived the 1989 uh, Exxon Valdez oil spill. I think we've come out stronger. This is a story of tragedy and survival, of hardship and of success, a story unfolding over generations. It is a story set here, Alaska, a vast, remote, and rich land, the last great American frontier. For generations of Alaska natives, this was home, but its bounty of natural resources also attracted others who came to Alaska by the thousands in search of fortune. Alaska was changing, and the indigenous people here were losing control of their land. The discovery of the huge oil field at Prudhoe Bay accelerated Alaska's economic and cultural evolution. But the need to build an 800-mile oil pipeline across Alaska also provided the impetus to resolve native land claims. In 1971, Congress passed the Alaska Native Claims Settlement Act. Alaska natives gave up rights to their land in exchange for title to 40 million acres and more than $900 million. Dozens of Alaska Native corporations were established to manage the settlement land and money. Chenega Corporation was born. The oldest continuously inhabited village in Prince William Sound, Chenega has a long and difficult history. On Good Friday, 1964, one of the largest earthquakes ever recorded generated a huge tsunami that destroyed the original Chenega village. More than a third of Chenega's residents were killed. For 20 years, they lived uprooted from their homeland until the village of Chenega Bay was established on a nearby island in 1984. Less than five years later, Chenega was devastated again. The Exxon Valdez oil tanker ran aground nearby, spoiling the rich fishing waters that residents relied on for food and for jobs. It's hard looking back and um, that our people have been put through. Sorry. <laughs> so many, so many hardships, you know, and two really, really big ones, but other small ones. But to know that, you know, we've pulled ourselves through them. We're strong. Chenega is strong today because the U.S. government is fulfilling its promise in the Native Claims Settlement to help Alaska Natives overcome barriers to economic development. For Chenega, that means providing opportunities for its villagers who are shareholders in the corporation. The federal government considers Alaska Native Corporation's small disadvantaged companies thereby eligible for unrestricted sole source contracts through the Small Business Administration's 8A program. Unlike other 8As, Chenega is owned by its shareholders, the villagers of Chenega, who share in the profits of the company. Other 8A companies can sell, but Alaska Native corporations like Chenega cannot because taking care of its shareholders is a permanent commitment. Today, Chenega owns seven 8A companies with more than 3,000 employees working in 33 states and eight countries, developing expertise in areas such as information technology, intel and military operations, and security services. There are social and cultural responsibilities that are unique amongst Alaska Native corporations. And we believe that we are following uh, true to the letter of the law on that. And by participating in things like the 8A program, it allows us to do that. Back in the village, Chenega residents feel the positive effects of that success in their everyday lives. Better health care, educational scholarships, new roads, airport improvements, a new church. Well, it gives me a tremendous source of pride. Every day I can see um, tangible results from all of our efforts and I, I see a really bright feature for the village of Chenega, the people of Chenega.